what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we're going to find the function f such that f of x plus f of x minus 1 over x is equal to 1 plus x well i'm going to be applying a trick to solve this question and this trick will be we're going to be replacing x with x minus 1 over x repeatedly that means our first step this x we're going to be replacing it with x minus 1 all over x remember i said repeatedly that means our next step will be this x and this x i'm going to be replacing them with x minus 1 over x minus 1 all over this one under x minus 1 all over x and when i simplify this like you know combining the fraction at the top i'll have x minus 1 minus x all over x divide by x minus 1 over x now notice that this x can cancel off this x and this is x minus x so i have negative 1 all over x minus 1 again our next step would be for us to also replace this x with x minus 1 over x so this becomes minus 1 all over now I'm replacing this x with x minus 1 over x minus 1. So this becomes negative 1 all over. Combining the fraction under, I'll be having x minus 1 minus x all over x. Now notice that this becomes negative 1 all over. Now x minus x is gone. So negative 1 all over x. This negative can go with this negative, so this results to x. You see that if I repeatedly replace x with x minus 1 over x, you notice that this expression is periodic. So let me write them down so that you see where we are driving at. So you notice that from x, we have x minus 1 over x, and from this, we have negative 1 all over x minus 1 and then back down to x so let's use this to solve our question so the question given to us is f of x plus f of x minus 1 over x equal to 1 plus x now remember we're going to be replacing x with x minus 1 over x so this expression becomes f of, I'm replacing this x with x minus 1 over x plus f. When I replace this x minus 1 over x, as in replace this x with x minus 1 over x, remember, I'll be having this expression here, which is negative 1 all over x minus 1 equal to 1 plus, I'm replacing this x with x minus 1 over x. Now let's repeat this. So f, when I replace x with x minus 1 over x here, yeah, remember I'm going to be getting negative 1 all over x minus 1 plus. Now when I replace x with x minus 1 over x here, yeah, so this becomes x equal to 1 plus. Now when I replace x minus 1 all over x, you notice that I got negative 1 all over x x minus 1. So I have three equations. I have this as equation 1, I have this as equation 2, and I have this as equation 3. So we're going to be solving these three equations systematically. Now if you notice, you notice that equation 1 and equation 3 have f of x in them. That means I'm going to be adding equation 1 and equation 3. But since equation 2 does not have f of x, I'm going to be subtracting equation 2. So adding equation 1 and 2, I have f of x plus f of x. That makes 2f of x. And since I'm subtracting equation 3, you notice that this minus this is gone and this minus this is gone. So I only have 2f of x on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side, I'm adding equation 1 and 3. So I have 1 plus x plus 1 plus negative 1 all over x minus 1. Now subtracting equation 2, 
I have negative 1 plus x minus 1 all over x. So let's simplify this further so that we can get our final answer. So this expression here now leaves 2f of x equal to 1 plus x plus, let's try and open up this bracket, 1, so minus 1 all over x minus 1, minus. Now, using this minus to open up this bracket, I'll have minus 1 minus x minus 1 all over x. Now, you notice that I have 1 minus 1, which is gone, so leaving behind 2f of x to be equal to 1 plus x minus 1 all over x minus 1 minus x minus 1 all over x. Now, I'm going to be combining this fraction on the next step. So we have 2f of x to be equal to 1 plus, now combining this fraction, I have x squared minus x minus 1 all over x minus 1. So this is what I have from combining this. Now minus x minus 1 all over x. So now let's combine a fraction on the right hand side. So this gives us 2f of x to be equal to, now the LCM is x times x minus 1. Now I can go ahead and put 1 here so that it looks easy. So this LCM divided by 1 is the same thing, times 1 is x times x minus 1, plus the, the LCM divided by x minus 1, I have x, so x is going to be multiplying x squared minus x minus 1. Now let me extend this a little bit. So minus, this divided by the LCM, I've got x minus 1. x minus 1 times the same thing, that means I'm going to be taking the square of this. So let's simplify further in the next slide. Now open up the bracket so we have 2f of x to be equal to, let's open up this bracket, we have x squared minus x plus, open up this bracket, we have x cubed minus x squared minus x, now minus, so x minus 1 all squared, I'm going to be having x squared minus 2x plus 1. So all over, opening up the bracket at the denominator, we have x squared minus x. So let's try and open up this bracket one more time. So we have 2f of x to be equal to x squared minus x plus x cubed minus x squared minus x minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now divide by x squared minus x. So notice that x squared can go with x squared here. And also notice that I have minus x minus x plus 2x. So this can go together. Now leaving behind x cubed, what do I have next? Minus x squared minus 1 all over x squared minus x. So this is actually equal to 2f of x. So finally, we're going to be dividing both sides by 2. And when we do divide both sides by 2, our final answer for f of x is going to be equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 1 divide by 2 times x squared minus x. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.